hear the monitor. How's that? Back in the back. No? Test one, two, still no? And that uh, for, for everybody here, we're glad you're here tonight. And I uh, was mentioned about mothers. <clears throat> Just wanted to uh, say a few words. We uh, designate a, a year every year for, for mothers. And I'm sure there's plenty here. Uh, and if you're not a mom, uh, biologically, I'm sure you're a mom some way or another, or an aunt, or a grandmother, or a... a, a a nanny, maybe that would be another way to put it. But uh, we just want to, we want all the moms to stand up. I want all the, all the moms to stand up. And everybody, we're going we're gonna to honor the moms tonight. And for those of you that's watching uh, on TV, we're doing the same for you here. Because there's a whole lot of ladies that catch me at the store and, and uh, tell me they watch this every, every week. But... Uh, Let's everybody give them a good hand. For <clears throat> okay, we're going to get started. <clears throat> We've got Mr. Bailey. Come on up. Thank you, Otis. My name is Howard. And my lovely wife's name is Bernice. Am I right, Mike? Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay. All right. Now, I just want to make sure. <clears throat> you know, uh, I was thinking on the way over here that uh, any time you hear the name Elvis, the whole world knows who you're talking about. He was and is the king of rock and roll. On the other hand, when you say the name George, everybody that loves country music pretty much knows who you're talking about there too. The late George Jones that uh, just passed away just a few days ago, they buried his body, but his spirit is in heaven and his spirit lingers here on earth uh, through songs and I don't know anybody that sings country music that hasn't picked up some of George Jones as you go along I know back in about 1950 something uh, <clears throat> I sing other people's songs but most of the songs I sang back in that era was George Jones, because he was the hottest thing going, and he has been for all these years and years and years. So I would like to do, uh, I guess everybody has their favorite George Jones song, as I do, and I would like to try to do this for you. Now, I won't do it anywhere near as good as George Jones did, but nobody else would either, because she thinks I still care. Just because I asked a friend about her Just because I spoke her name somewhere Just because I rang her number by mistake today She Things I still care So if she's happy thinking I still need her Then let her silly notions Bring her tears Oh, how could she ever be so foolish Oh, where could 
She gets a tan ideal Just because I haunt the same old places Where the memories of her linger everywhere Just because I'm not the happy guy I used to be She thinks I still care Oh, she thinks I still care much that uh that song inspired me to I've been trying to write songs uh, as long as I can remember and that song inspired me to write a song that is similar in some ways it, it has uh, it has none of the words that George used or anything like that but it is similar in ways to this because of what it says. Uh, and I did get the inspiration for this song from uh, that George Jones song. <clears throat> it's called, I Know You're Right. It goes like this. Whatever made you think that I still love you. After all the ways you've done me day and night You've got a lot of nerve to even think it Oh, but way down deep inside I know you're right My heart and mind are broken little pieces I never thought that you could hurt me so So many times I've told you I was leaving But you'll always laugh and say I wouldn't go Whatever made you think that I still love you After all the ways you've done me day and night You've got a lot of nerve to even think it Oh, but way down deep inside I know you're right My heart and mind are broken little pieces I never thought that you could hurt me so So many times I told you I was leaving But you'd always laugh And say I wouldn't go Whatever made you think That I still love you After all the ways you've done me Day and night You've got a lot of nerve to even think it Oh, but way down deep inside I know you're right Oh, but way down deep inside I know you're right Thank you, Elder. Thank you. One more. One more. All right. Uh, let's do Muddy Water. Y'all know that? An A?
Yeah, y'all, these guys know everything. Uh, yeah, an A, I think. If it's not an A, we'll change it and try it somewhere else. By the way, this is a Stonewall Jackson song, and I know I don't look like it, but uh, I opened the show for Stonewall Jackson in 1973 in St. Clair Shores, Michigan, and this was one of his songs that he was doing on that show called Muddy Water. Well, I was born in Macon, Georgia. Kept my dad in the Macon jail. He said, son, if you keep your hands clean, well, you won't hear them bloodhounds on your trail. But I fell in with a bad companion. Robbed a man down in Tennessee. They caught me way down in Nashville. Yeah, they did. They locked me up and threw away the key. Well, I washed my hands in muddy water. Washed my hands, but they didn't come clean. Tried to do like my daddy told me, poor boy. Hey, must have washed my hands in a muddy stream. Play it now. I said, jailer, I said, when my time up, he said, son, we won't forget. If you try just to keep your hands clean this time, hey, we may make us a good man of you, yes. But I could not wait to get my time in. I broke out of that Nashville jail I just crossed that line of Georgia Yeah, I did Hey, but I can't hear them bloodhounds on my trail Well, I washed my hands in muddy water Washed my hands, but they didn't come clean Tried to do like my daddy told me, poor boy. Hey, must have washed my hands in a muddy stream. Yeah, must have washed my hands in a muddy stream. Thank you much. Appreciate it, y'all. <laughs> Bob, uh, do, us, do us a couple songs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, well, I'm so here. So oh, well, yeah. Yep. How about it, Harold? Y'all ready to come on up? <clears throat> we got the Ferrells tonight come play a little bit with us. That means I got to get my banjo. Yeah, give my hand. <laughs> come on up here and let's get, to, get adjusted. When you get adjusted where y'all don't say it, you can my Well, 
It's good to be back in, uh, so I guess it's McKenna, ain't it? Yeah. Something like that. Is, any, is, anybody, is anybody here tonight loves America? Huh? Anybody fought for America? Thank all of you, okay? I'm going to say thank you because I appreciate everything you've done. This is a, <clears throat> this is an old song we do, not, uh, Okay. I'll wait on you. I'm, I'm, I'll be like, uh, well, never mind. Uh, uh, it's a little old song we do, and, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say it this way. If there's anybody in America that don't love America, they need to leave. Amen. I appreciate all of our veterans, and this, this, is, uh, this, is, my, this is my request. I didn't, I didn't serve any time in the military, but it's still my request because I love America this much. Y'all introduce yourself. Uh, I thought everybody knew us. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just in case. Okay. Is anybody here don't know who we are? That's what I thought. Okay. Okay. You do that to me every time. Okay. We're the Ferrells, and uh, for the most part, we reside in a little town up yonder called Marion, Tennessee. If y'all don't know where that is, why? Uh, you got to go back to Tennessee Ridge to start. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm Harold Farrell. It's my father, Leon Farrell, right here. And don't y'all, uh, don't say nothing in front of him about, uh, well, about me, because so, he thinks I'm so bright he calls me son. <laughs> and, and don't say nothing in front of either one of us about this little fellow right over here, because he's so bright I call him son. <laughs> That's my boy Gene right here. And uh, he's, he's chopped on that man and... Since he's about three years old, he couldn't even, I'll tell on him a little bit, he couldn't even court it when he started, but, uh, you know, I'm real proud of him. He kept working on that thing and learned some chords on it, and he's doing a whole lot better. Of course, uh, I've tried for years, and I still can't do no better, so. But it's good to be here. What you going Let's 
sequence. You gonna change the chords? Yeah, get it, get it B flat. Yeah. <clears throat> From the blue velvet mountains that surround me came a mom and dad gave me life. And those simple values that they taught will guide me like a river running day and night. They'll all come running if there's someone in need. They'll reach out when someone's hurt. Diamonds and gold could not match what they were. To me they represent a firm foundation A picture of our love and worth Never turning their backs on one another Good people are the salt of the earth When someone's hurt, diamonds and gold could not match what they were. Good people are the salt of the earth. Oh, good people are the salt of the earth. <coughs> what do you got? How many you want to sing to? I don't know. Do, huh? do a circle there. Oh, okay. Tell a joke or something like that. Clean up. I don't know if y'all heard about these old boys that been buddies all their life, and of course one of them kind of had a little money, and the other one was like me, he was poor in a turkey. They'd hunted together all their life, and this old money man, you know, he goes out and buys this big old high-priced coon dog, and they got in an argument one night about that old dog, you know, about that guy told him, said, man, said, that dog's sure enough a coon dog. Well, he turned out, and he, the dog was, you know, he... Got out there and they run, and of course his old dog tree, and they got to the tree and this, shining around, shining around, they couldn't find no coon. They sat around there about 10 minutes and shined in every tree that was around there and just couldn't find no coon. No guy that owned, the coon, owned, that, owned that high priced dog, he had to come up with something, so he thought real quick. He said, well, he said, y'all just wait a minute. He said, I know what it is. He said, y'all just, let's just catch the dog, turn your lights off, and we'll sit down here a minute. He said, the coon just ain't got here yet. <laughs> Well, since tomorrow's Mother's Day, uh, I'm thankful for all the mothers. And I used to think my mother was going to start, uh, going to, excuse me, going to smother me to death in love because every time she whooped me, she told me she loved me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, you remember what I said about, uh, about them calling me son and stuff. So uh, this is a tribute to all the mothers. And mama, that includes you. I know you changed it. Here you go, mamas. I'm thinking of a little lady. She bears her load without a care. The one who rocked me in my cradle and through the years she loved me. The last one I'll forget. Her ways may seem a bit old fashioned, and some may laugh when passing by. I'm not ashamed to call her mother. My love for her I'll never deny. Each lock of gray may cover some. She's growing old Her tender smile Each day grows sweeter Each day she's closer to God's 
story. I was up pretty good size. And, uh, I don't know, I was probably about 14 or 15 years old. And we was in the Winn-Dixie store over on on uh, Fort Campbell Boulevard, right there on, in the corner of Fort Campbell Boulevard and Cunningham Lane. And of course, we hadn't been to town much and they just started, I guess they just started pouring concrete floors in the stores. <laughs> but anyway, we had a concrete slab to run on, boy, we was having a time. And we was in there and, and uh, running, and Mama was over on one aisle, and she'd round the aisle with her buggy, you know, because she was puttering along. Well, she wasn't puttering along too fast because she wasn't real old back then. But anyway, uh, she rounded the aisle, and she said, Now, y'all need to quit that running. Y'all going to tear up something. And uh, I guess she was getting kind of primed up. But we'd keep on running, and, and uh, she'd tell us, you know, Don't y'all be running. She said, Y'all going to run into something. Well, directly, we run into a salad dressing display. And it wasn't in tin cans, and, and it wasn't in plastic cups either. Uh, Y'all know what it was in. And uh, we knocked that thing over, and it blowed up, and it went off. It sounded like a cannon, you know. Well, Mama rounded the aisle on one end, and Daddy rounded the aisle on the other end. And I'm telling this because we need more mamas and daddies like this today. Well, of course, I mean, you know, it didn't do for you to run. Mama broke me from running when I was three years old. We won't get into that, but anyway, uh, she is going to whoop one of us, and whichever one of us it was, of course, we was a scratching and a, you know, squalling like she was beating us to death, which she just about did, I thought. But uh, this woman walked up and she said, "But ma'am, you can't." And before she could get tea out of can't, Mama done pointed her finger right in that woman's face and said, "You shut up, or I'll give you some of it." <laughs> And there wasn't nobody waiting at the door when we checked out. It wasn't nobody waiting there to put the cuffs on my mama because she'd have probably whooped him too. But anyway, <laughs> when we took correction away from mamas and daddies and got to where mamas and daddies didn't care what the kids done, we messed up, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Did y'all do that in the I don't know. Remember the cross? Hey. Yeah, but that's a slow song. That's a song you could do. Do you think of the cross on which Jesus died, of the blood he shed for you? Are you prepared to meet him in that land of love? By his word, are you going to abide? Remember the cross on which Jesus died. Follow him. Day. He shed his blood for you and he shed his blood for me. Never cast that cross of Teach his word to them if you can. 
wish Jesus died and get ready to meet him someday. Remember the cross on which Jesus died. Oh, in his footsteps he stayed. He shed blood for you and he shed blood for me. Never cast that cross aside. When Jesus comes down from heaven above and you have His blessed home with love. Remember the cross on which Jesus died. Following his footsteps each day, he shed blood for you and he shed blood for me. Never cast the cross aside. Never cast the cross aside. <laughs> Give a what? Just one more. Then get back Neil, take a break. Oh. Okay. Neil, take a break. Oh. All right. Okay. I don't know a poor. I don't know a poorer man in the state of Tennessee than this right here. He's, ne you. he's, he, he's never made any money. Well, I'll have to say, you know, he, he, every time I talk to him, he's always broke and ain't never made you no can. money. No. Well, you kept the great commandment, Otis, all this time. <laughs> You've helped the needy and fed the hungry. Yeah. They, they ain't never been a time that, that if, if I told Otis I was broke. Every time uh, I talk to him, he, he ain't always, making no money. He never he made any money. shells out there, you know. You're keeping a great command. <laughs> what were we supposed to sing, man? Sing so you broke my concentration. Sing what are you going to sing? Do what? Okay. Oh, uh, Harold, did you hear him? Oh, okay. He needs to get closer. Right, you need to get back up for a little bit. So we'll get that next time. Kneel at the cross. Christ meet you there. Come while he waits for you. Please to his voice. Leave with him your care and begin life anew. Kneel at the cross. Thank y'all. Bob, you're on. Well, that was the Farrells there, uh, family, and uh, now we're going up Mr. Bob Hudges, the riverboat captain here on the Tennessee.
I got a feeling called the blues, oh Lord, I better say goodbye. Well, I don't know what I do. All I do is sit inside. Oh Lord, that last long day she said goodbye. Hey Lord, I thought I would cry. She'll do me, she'll do you. She got that kind of loving. Lord, I love to hear her when she called me sweet daddy. Such a beautiful dream. I hate to think it all over, but the heart it seems I've grown so used to you somehow. Lord, I'm nobody, sugar daddy now, and I'm alone. I got the love sick. Well, I'm in love, I'm in love with the beautiful girl. That's what's the matter with me. <laughs> well, I'm in love, I'm in love with a beautiful gal, but she don't care about me. Well, I tried and I tried to keep her satisfied, but she just wouldn't stay. And now that she is a leader, this is all that I can do. I got a feeling called a blue Oh Lord, since my baby say goodbye Lord, I don't know what I do All I do is sit inside Oh Lord, that last long day She said goodbye Hey Lord, I thought I would cry She'll do me, she'll do you Got the kind of loving Lord, I love to hear her when she called me sweet Daddy, such a beautiful dream I hate to think it all over I lost my heart, it seems I've grown so used to you somehow Lord, I'm nobody, sugar daddy now And I'm lonesome I got the love sick blue.
Can you ever see a problem we when please begin to die? That means he lost his will to live. I'm so lonesome I could cry. The silence of a falling star lights up a purple sky and as I wonder where you are I'm so lonesome I could Them cards and letters coming. I'll read every one of them. I used to say that when I was playing down there on the radio station in the tropics. I used to get a few cards. It was from them, little, them pretty little girls. Of course, my wife didn't know that. I don't know what to say now. Once I was happy I could be Well, let it help Who loved me And ever since She let me down The blues gone down Go down Oh, the blues come around Oh, the blues come around Lord, the blues come around Every evening when the sun goes down in the sky is all gone make me cry but ever since she left the town the blues go around the sun goes down oh the blues come around hey the blues come around lord the blues come around every evening when the sun goes down On that thing, I can't go that route. <laughs> that there's too high. I built, I built my castle very high. And then that's still too low. I can't get it, forget it. I ain't sung that in years, so I don't know what did it. I'll sing this one. I remember them so clearly Mom and Dad loved them so dearly Old Rush Harbor by the side of the road Where I learned about salvation From the book of Revelation In an arbor by the side of the road Old Rush Harbor by the side Oh 
first moved to Tennessee, that was back in 1980, we had a whole bunch of brush arbors going on around here. And I knew the, uh, the, the association director real well. I knew him for 25 years before I ever moved to Tennessee. And me and him went to just about every one of them. But the first one I'll never forget. It was out here. It wasn't Carlisle. It was on up above Carlisle. I can't remember this. But anyhow, we went to that brush arbor, you know, and boy, they was doing some tall preaching and everything, and I was doing a whole lot of scratching. And I couldn't figure out what was wrong. But I'll tell you how. When I got home that night, I bet I had a thousand little seed ticks on my ankles, and they had done eat me up. <laughs> and I told Brother Dooley, I said, I don't know whether I want to go anymore. But we had fun. You going to sing another one? Yeah, yeah, we need to let him uh, come on up, Mr. Bass. Come up here and sing something. You just stay right there. I'll sing it. I'll sing another Hank Williams. When he gets done? Yeah. I'll sing another Hank Williams. Keep on singing for me. My wife tells me that when I go someplace to sing, don't complain about the fact that you have been in bad health and all this kind of stuff. Just be on the up and up. So. That's where we're at. Okay, we're going to do that. Here's a song I've been wagging around for quite some time in the key of C, y'all. It's called Apartment Number Nine. Just follow the stairway to this lonely world of mine. And you'll find me waiting here. In apartment number nine Not so very long ago You walked away from me After all the plans we made You decided to be free Loneliness surrounds me Without your arms around me And the sun will never shine In apartment number nine Keep waiting in this lonely room Just in case you change your mind Girl, you'll find me waiting here In apartment number nine Not so very long ago You walked away from me Decided to be free. Loneliness surrounds me without your arms around me. And this sun will never shine in apartment number nine. No, the sun will never shine. In apartment number nine. Okay. Uh, here's a song that uh, I'm not going to try to tell you what year I wrote this song in because I have no idea. But uh, I wrote it several years ago.